Ooh, I, I hear bubbling. I hear bubbling in the toilet. I might have gotten more water than I planned on. So we're here at the, what are we at? I don't, we're at the train, train <laughs> convention. Yeah. We are here at the Grand Design National Rally and you can get a lot of different services here. Today we're gonna do one that's a little bit special. Something that's never been done before, which is somewhat scary, but I'm actually excited to find out how much crap literally is stuck in our tanks. This is Wendy and Joe, and they own the uh, Clean Tank franchise here in M Michigan, right? Correct. And we actually met these guys in 2018 at the same rally, mm -hmm. and they went on the motorcycle ride together and yeah. all that stuff. We've never had this done before, so it's going to be an interesting thing to see. So right before they got here, I did a really, what I would consider a fairly thorough flush of both of our black tanks. We don't usually flush our grays, but we use our gray water to flush the hose. So today we're having our tanks thoroughly cleaned. So I am going to really dump and flush ours as good as I can using traditional normal methods. Of course, just, you know, filling and dumping and flushing. Uh, but I'm going to try to do it really, really well. I'm really curious to see how much is left over over the five years. So let's get busy flushing. We're going to start with the back. Sometimes when we have full hookups, I will hook up both the front and rear dumps at the same time, but very, very rarely. Usually I hook up the front one because that's where we're going to be dumping gray a lot and doing laundry and dishes and we'll have to dump maybe more than once while we're at a location. The black tanks I typically dump right before we leave on T24, particularly with the rear one because I leave it unhooked just like this. I'm just gonna move this line over to here, dump, flush, get it all clean, and then go back to the front and do the front side. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail, but what I like to do is when I first hook it up, I hook up the flush and I just let that flush just sort of keep running and running until I see pretty much clear water coming through here. Obviously you only do this on full hookups, after I see clear water running, then I go to like a phase two where I will fill the tank up with the flush by closing the valve, flushing it again. I do that a couple times. You'll be surprised how much stuff keeps coming out. Sometimes I will also let the water completely drain, no flush on, then turn on the flush so that the spray inside the tank is spraying onto an empty tank. It might spray some of the stuff loose. And I do that a couple times. So just kind of going through a cycle here and I don't do it in any particular order. I just kind of go by feel based on what I'm seeing come out of the little hole down here. And then I just keep going until I don't really see anything else coming out. This rear tank shouldn't have a whole lot to it. We just don't use it as much. And yes, I do have a leak up here on a little water meter. A water meter is really important if you're going to be filling your tanks uh, to flush because you really want to make sure you don't put too much water in there. You can explode your tank. Uh, or maybe, you know, maybe make it fill up through the vent tube all the way to the roof. With water pressure and flow being different at every site, that can make a big difference. So you don't want to rely on timing alone. You want to use a water meter. But you can see 10 gallons so far. It's upside down. It's when I'm doing that very first just keep flushing type of thing where I wait until I see clear water out of here is I will reset my meter, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down. My point with this is even though it's open right now and just flushing right through, it's not gonna fill up. There's no danger of it overfilling. I like to have that 10 minute timer, come back out, look at my meter. That gives me an idea of how long I will let it go when I have the gate closed and I'm filling it up to flush. Timer's done. Let's go see how much water we use and what our flow looks like. 27 gallons, which is uh, pretty good. Well, so we'll use that 10 minute mark, maybe 12 minutes. The flow looks pretty clear. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna shut the main valve. I'm gonna reset this, set a timer for 11 minutes. That should put about 30 gallons or so in and then we'll use that 30 gallons to flush. Timer is done. Let's go check it. This is one timer you do not want to snooze. <laughs> 29 gallons, we'll shut that off. Pretty clean, not like drinking water clean, but I do see some toilet paper and miscellaneous solids going by. 
I will let this water run all the way out and dry. Then I'll turn the flush back on and I'll see if I can get the flush uh, inside the tank to spray a dry tank and maybe loosen up anything else in there. Probably do that a couple times. I want to make this an extraordinary flush, the best I would ever do. But hopefully it's done. Yep, so nice and dry. As you can see, nothing coming out. So we are going to go over here to our leaky little thing, turn on the flush. And this is where it sometimes gets interesting as we watch what comes out. This is when you can see, oh wow, there were still uh, some solids left in there. Now this is the rear tank, so it doesn't get as much use. What's interesting about this is a lot of times you'll see this water stop flowing. And it's because there's a backup in there somewhere clogging it up. And then all of a sudden, poof, it goes through and then the floodwaters come. But this one's flowing pretty clean right off the bat. We are going to lock this down, close it up, and move to the front tank flush. Let's make sure it's on real good. Don't want that sucker popping off there. I'm going to test my connection with gray water first. Make sure nothing's leaking. It's good. Start the flush. You can see the nastiness. Set a timer for 12 minutes. Give that about 12 minutes to just flush. 12 minutes. Starting had to go film a segment somewhere else so I had to take a break but we're back and we're gonna finish this flush job got an hour till they get here black tank close set my meter there set a timer for 10 minutes Ooh, I, I hear bubbling I hear bubbling in the toilet I might have gotten more water than I planned on oh 48 gallons holy cow <laughs> that was close I'm glad I didn't set the timer for 12 minutes. We could have had a disaster on our hands. So I'm gonna let that flush and uh, do the same thing I did on the back where I let it drain all the way out and then I'll turn it on so that the spray goes into an empty tank. I'm gonna do that in a regular flush a few times before they get here. I'm not gonna show you every time because that's just silly and boring. So you guys are going to do all four tanks, right? The both grays and both blacks? Correct. I'll be curious to see what we have, especially in our gray tanks. Oh, well, too. that's what I was going to say is I kind of know what to expect, I think, out of the black tanks. But the gray tanks, I'm kind of curious to see how much yeah. stuff yeah. comes out. How do you even go about this process? What do you use to clean? I think like I saw a pine saw or something over there. Any issues with the pine oil and pine saw or any of that stuff? We've heard some people say not to use that. Pine saw used to contain pine oil, but mm -hmm. it hasn't since the 80s. I challenge anybody to clean grease better than this top liquid cleaner. We'll take you on me and my pine saw. So it's safe for your tanks. It's not going to cause any harm. Unless you're holding on to a bottle from the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can imagine if it was true pine oil, that would be kind of... Yeah, it is very caustic. And yeah. 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 It's good. yeah, yeah. It wouldn't work well with plastics and rubbers and stuff in there. Is it like a big long hose that's got like powerful jets and stuff? Or That is that, that is it. Is it, yep. like, Does it, got it. Is it like a, one of those little lawn sprinkler kind of things, but really fast? Sort of. <laughs> sort of, yeah, we've kind of given your RV a uh, high colonics. Yeah, oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. I did look online at some of the things that you offer yes. and your schedule for all the different rallies and places that you're going to be are listed there as well. So if somebody comes and finds you at the rally, do you guys have a booth inside? We do, yep. Can you explain a little bit of the different options that people can get done on their RV? Sure, we do the full tank cleaning, the black and the grays. Mm -hmm. We do uh, water heater flushes, water heater sanitation, and fresh water sanitation. Oh, cool. But we do need RVers to be on full hookups for a lot of these services oh, yeah. because of the water that we're using. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. We also handle um, clogs. So if you're having issues where, you know, like there's a Poop pyramid. Poop, yeah. Poop kind of pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually from leaving the black tanks open. Yeah. Never, ever leave your Dude. black tanks open. Or grays. Oh, really? We leave our middle. Not our always, but you'll leave it open if you know I'm doing laundry. You're doing laundry if you're if we're going to do laundry in a bunch of showers or whatever. That is okay. You don't leave it open for weeks at a time. Yeah. yeah. We do sometimes. <laughs> we put a pea trap in there. So what's wrong with leaving the gray tank open? Uh, same thing, the liquids come out, that's mm -hmm. connected to your shower and bath. Mm -hmm. So while the liquids come out, you're gonna leave skin cells, hair, um, soap scum, mm. lint from the dryer, and that just sort of festers uh. in there and creates some mold. Because sometimes that gray tank smells worse. 
Like oh, the especially odor you get from that gray tank can be foul. We'll have to keep our gray tanks closed unless we know we're doing laundry or something like that. Are you available if you're not at a rally and somebody's in your area? You go travel to somebody to do yeah. this? Yeah. Okay. We travel what crisscross Michigan at least twice a week. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of our primary business. The rally is oh okay. Um, more of just like as a service to provide maintenance for RV owners. Uh -huh. Our primary at home we're constantly. Oh, excellent. Always, uh, yep. Going out. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. Tara mentioned you guys can also do the, the, the poop tube from the toilet, that part. Yes. Are you coming from the top for that? We do. Okay. You mentioned that you can tell if there's mold that comes out. You'll actually be able to see it. Yep. yep. We're not going to blur it because I think it's important for you to see because Chad did a really good flush and I think it's good for you to see what comes out. What was the stuff in the bottom there that's, that's mixing in? This is the Calgon. Take me away. Calgon, take me away. It's paradise. Go on, lose yourself in luxury. <laughs> this is exactly what we want it to do. We want Ageless to take bath. that out of your tanks. And not all Calgon's the same. You don't want to use laundry detergent, Calgon. Right. So that, that is like a water softener. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. It's the surfactant that breaks the surface tension of water, so uh, it keeps it, it slick and it slides out of your tanks. I've been in the market for a good surfactant for a while. <laughs> we talk about it in dinner sometimes. <laughs> So it's not nasty stuff, it's just water heater so stuff. So this was a water heater you guys did recently and it was all yeah the scaly stuff I expect. Yeah. But I guess it maybe turns brown when it's not in the water and wet. But yeah, that's a lot of yeah, a lot of sandy stuff. Yep. So you work your way from, from here up? I do, yep. We go up through here so we never have to enter your coach. The way the cleaning heads work, they jet forward but a lot backwards, so it pulls. Ah, uh, okay. I saw some stuff already kind of coming. Uh, yep, we're in the tank, so I need to get some good water in there and break some stuff off. Just like stew I build up in there, but not many chunks. Nice bit of screw bite coming out. Here's some stuff, yeah. Did you just basically keep going until it's mostly clear? Yeah, and because you were having sensor issues and we didn't get a lot of the sludge, I am assuming that there's screw bite stuck on the wall, which is blocking your sensor reading. So okay. that's what I'm trying to break off now. Let that sit for a minute. Can you close black? Very impressed. Okay, so what was that you were just saying about our tanks? Yeah, I was saying I was very impressed <laughs> with your black tanks. Yes. You got impressive skills, babe. Yeah. I'm impressed. Open kitchen. Ooh, I feel smells. Gray smells worse than the black is here. Wow. That is Black mold. crazy mold. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And that's in our kitchen gray? Yes. Yeah, that stinks. No. Oh, wow. Those black chunks are just mold? Yes. Yep. Look at all that stuff. <laughs> We sometimes get people that request only to have the black cleans, and we do it if they want, but I always say the gray is dirtier. Let me just take a peek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is normally where the smells are coming from. I was telling Joe it's a double-edged sword. I wanted your tanks to be really, really clean because I know how much you work on them. Mm -hmm. But I also wanted to see something come out of your tank. Yeah. Well, that gray was nasty. And then yeah. we did get a lot of the, the, the black stuff out of there, too. So it's a normal buildup, but definitely doesn't smell as bad. 
Yeah, you, this, this one back here doesn't get a lot of use. That water and those full tank flushes definitely make a difference, and you can see it. Yeah, it's not a gate valve, it's too big. Did you replace your toilet at all? No, not back there. Huh. Interesting. That was just up there in the tank or in the line somewhere? Yep. Just hanging out for a while. Huh. Yeah, because you, would, you wouldn't be able to pull a seal using this, so it just yep. was up in there. Yep. Huh. Uh, we found gloves. Oh, rags, really? <laughs> um, toy cars. Oh, really? Rags. Oh, I guess I guess toy cars. Kids, toy kids cars. flushing their toy cars. Yeah. Silverware. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we've had that because we'll sometimes dump our uh, wash tub. If we're boondocking, mm -hmm. we'll dump our wash tub in the back toilet. And I've, 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 I've like, like, oh, I almost dumped our silverware. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we at here? We're at the final stages, right? We are at the final stages. We fill it uh, about 90% full and then we flush it to make sure all the little bits come out. Mm -hmm. We um, had filled it with the pine saw solution, let it soak. This is our fourth fill. Okay, so that was just the, this is uh, gray or black? This is your kitchen gallon. Kitchen, right. yeah. Gray. And that was, one, that was a stinky one. Yes. So if you want to give that a pull, Joe. So four time pull and we're still getting. Yeah. Yeah, still getting stuff after four times. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. And that's what's sticking to the side of the walls. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> All kinds of little chunks of mold or something or? Yeah, exactly. And that's where your odor is coming from. And like I said, this is the fourth time filling and dumping. And um, you see it gets a little bit better each time. But mm -hmm. the last one was really bad. So I think we were able to get quite a bit off the last one. But... I feel clean. <laughs> I, I feel the same as I did before. <laughs> <laughs> but I do feel like our tanks are cleaner for sure. We saw a lot of good stuff come out of there, meaning bad stuff. Well, I think that we should just ask the experts how they think we did or have been doing. Uh, I think you Be do a really, yeah, honestly, I think you do a really good job with your black tanks. Mm -hmm. I think you fill them completely, you dump, you get those clear, huge flushes to mm -hmm. help bring everything out. The gray tank could use a little work. We did that one time clean on our gray tank and it got some nasty stuff out of there. We probably mm -hmm. should have followed that up with a couple of more cleans mm -hmm. and maybe do that more often during our travels. Yeah. I think we're going to get into that too. You guys are going to tell us what you recommend going forward. Yeah. Yep. If you're not going to use an additive that breaks things down mm -hmm. and, and creates that sludge, uh, a simple mix of Calgon, pine salt, and water. Mm -hmm. Calgon is going to um, break the surface tension of water to keep it slick. Mm -hmm. Pine salt is a disinfectant and deodorizer. Right. Um, especially in the grays where we tend to get a lot of mold build up mm -hmm. odors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Helps. And the gray tank that was the worst is the one for the kitchen sink. Oh yeah. And you know, even though we have a strainer covering the um, drain, stuff still gets in there. Yeah, yeah. you're the washing off bowls, got sauces yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm not surprised about that. Yeah. Nine out of 10 uh, campers have that. So it's nothing unusual. We mm -hmm. see it all the time. So you guys recommend doing the, uh, the Calgon beads and the pine salt? What kind of mixture, how much to how much? So for a 32 ounce bottle that's easy to keep under your sink, it's two ounces of Calgon, 10 ounces of Pine Salt, mm -hmm. the rest water. Keep that in a bottle, mix it up, and put a cup in each tank with three gallons of water to sort of prime your tanks. Oh, and then okay, so you keep that mixture. That, that's, oh, and, that's then it, and then as they fill up, then it, yeah. then it right. So you don't have to oh, worry about mixing it every time before a travel day. You have it there, you put a cup in with three gallons of water. Yeah. I like, I like that. Set. It's not as good as getting it professionally clean like what they do, right. but you know, in between cleanings and yep. stuff, it's I think that that's good. Yeah, yeah. We had a repeat customer at this rally who had it done last year, used that exclusively, mm -hmm. and all three of his tanks were perfect. Great. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, they were, I mean, there was definitely a noticeable difference. Very cool. That's great. Uh, so that was neat to see. Did you talk about the Happy Camper? I was just going to do that. Okay. So these guys do recommend not using Happy Camper. We've had pretty good luck with it, but they're saying they think maybe because I do a good job flushing. Water is the key. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to share a video with you that they shared with us of what can happen if you just use Happy Camper and you, you don't maintain your flushing. And I don't know if it might have something to do with how it's being applied too, because we've had people reach out to us 
and tell us that, oh, I didn't know you're supposed to sprinkle it in. I mean, it's in the directions, but they didn't know you're supposed to sprinkle it in. They just dump it in yeah. and flush it. And that's not what you want to do. You want to let that bowl as it's filling up, sprinkle it in there, let it mix into that gallon of water and then flush it and then put two more gallons in there. Water is your friend in the black tank. Lots and lots of water, especially when you're doing number two. Yeah. And you can see <laughs> the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yep. So do you have like a grading scale, like an A, B, C, D, you know? Oh, we do. She doesn't like to do this part. So. It's okay. It's okay. We, we're kind of prepared. We're, we know we didn't take care of our gray tank as much, yep. but now it's nice and clean for the next owner. Yep. So your black, I would say you did a B plus. B, uh, I mean, B plus. it B plus was very good. good because yeah. there was still stuff in there, but that's yeah. from using it. Yeah. So um, your kitchen. Um, D plus, D, go D now. minus, D minus. D minus. <laughs> we didn't get All right, to we're still F. passing. We didn't get to the F. <laughs> yeah. We didn't get to the F. Um, hey, because we had to, we had to flush quite a few times. Yeah. Seven yeah. times, right? You get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that great, that great tank is, was yeah. nasty. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna try to maintain that going forward. We're gonna use your tip. And I like that idea of having it all ready and mixed together. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in getting your tanks professionally cleaned, we will have all their contact info in the description below. Your schedule is going to be posted online where you'll be in different rallies and stuff like that. So. Yep. Yep. Do you guys have your own uh, website for your services and stuff like that with your schedule? Um, you it's on it? the main one, cleantank.com okay. backslash Michigan. Okay. And then there's also the other dealers. The end of this year, we'll have 13 across the country. Mm -hmm. So if we are not in the area, they might find another dealer who is closer to them. Is there like a locator on yep. there? Okay, perfect. We want to thank you guys for cleaning five years of <laughs> stuck on tank stuff. I am going to check our sensors because we were talking about that. We get asked about that, you know, how do you fix those sensors? And the answer is, you don't. They suck. They'll never work. Don't even bother with them. Ne they've, never <laughs> they, they've never worked. So. Yeah, I mean, we we're going to check them now, but even if they work right now, they're not going to work next week. <laughs> so those sensors just are what they are. We may do a video in the future with some, like, sea level sensors. I do. We, we hear those are really good. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Awesome. All right, thank you. I'm going to give you a hug. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. So there are some solids going by. I just saw some paper, uh, some toilet paper. Oh, great. Now my leaky thing is spraying my mat down here that I lean on. Awesome. So, it's so funny it's how we got the blue, blue, red. Yeah. America. Red, red, blue, white, yes. and white, and white. Maybe we need to change our diet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. 10 minutes, counting down. There we go. Okay. So these guys highly recommend against Holly Camper. Holly, Holly. Okay, I gotta say that all Holly Yes, you do. Holly, Holly. Holly. If your sink doesn't drain when you're doing dishes, it's full, empty. There's that train. Yeah. Right on cue. <laughs>